Okay, what is the very first step in mixing? Editing? That's right, but I call it as a mixing prep. Then naming and organizing tracks? Yes, but I call it as a mixing prep also. I do mixing prep before a mixing session so that I can concentrate on the real thing. If you spend a couple of hours into editing and go right into mixing, you can easily lose fresh perspectives because your ears are already adjusted while you are editing the tracks. Then what is the very first step in mixing? I believe gain staging is the very first step in mixing. I mean, real mixing. <laughs> when it comes to gain staging in mixing or recording, people usually tell you do not clip the sources, channels, or plugins. Yes, this is true, but there is much more than that. If you do gain staging not just properly, but use as more like touching faders to balance the tracks, you can make your wanted sound easily. I will show you how to do gain staging in Pro Tools, Logic Pro X, and Ableton Live. But you must watch this video I made. It is about setting up your monitor levels related to a volume knob. It is the most important hardware setup that everyone can do easily. You can pause this video, check the link below, and don't forget to come back to this one. Here is a Pro Tools session that I got from a client. As you see, all tracks are recorded too loud. The first thing I do is that set my volume knob around 11 to 2 o'clock, depends on the genre of the music. But please do not play those loud tracks right away, because it can blow your ears out. You can slowly bring up volume knob while you do gain staging. When tracks are too loud, you can bring those faders down. But if a fader is under minus 15 dB, you have a very small range to do detail work like volume automation. If a fader is too low, believe it or not, you lose the sound quality of the track, not just in an analog mixer, but in DAW too. So the next thing you can do is bring all levels down by using trim, gain, or EQ plugin. By the way, a gain or a trim plugin works the same way, but manufacturer call it differently. Using a gain plugin needs to work individually. I don't use this technique in mixing often because it takes time. But when a mix session comes with plugins, I put a gain plugin in the last chain of the track. Another option you can do is bring a master fader down or a bus fader down. When I said to bring a bus fader down, some of you already using a bus EQ or a bus compressor to a mixed bus chain may catch it. Here are all tracks that use the same bus route. You can put a bus track or a simply put a master track that control a level before a mixed bus channel. If tracks are too loud, you can bring a master or a bus fader down. But don't go too far. The last option that I use often is using the clip gain. In Logic Pro X, open up the Inspector window and select the reason. Then inside the Inspector window, you can drag up or down the gain. In Ableton Live, select the reason or double click the reason. You can see the gain fader. In Pro Tools, you can see the gain fader at the left side of reason. Also, you can select a reason and hold Shift and Control key and use horizontal scrolling. I like to combine clip gain and master fader techniques together. This time, I'm going to show you how I balance a mix by using clip gain. My volume knob is at 11 o'clock. Usually, I start with drums, bass, and so on. Before I really work with faders, I balance tracks by using clip gain with panning. Here is a mix session. As you see, every fader is the unity gain. Let me play the bridge part.
After this process, you are going to have a rough mix right away. Now you are going to concentrate on the details because you already have a big picture of your mix. This is how I gain staging and mixing. How easy is that? That is for today's video. Once again, I strongly recommend you to check out another tutorial that I put the link below. If this video is first one for you, welcome to the channel. Make sure you hit this video with a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And I will see you in the next one. 안녕!